1160, 1660 or just 1060 2.0 there's been quite a lot of rumors lately regarding nvidia's upcoming unknown new gpu that is apparently going to replace the old gtx 1060 that is getting out of stock as we're speaking now well it seems like some of the rumors were fake and others were true in this video we're gonna talk about all of this we are actually sitting on some evidence here as well this video is gonna be interesting guys you don't want to miss it let's get into it hey how is it going guys it's robin here on rb and hardware on this channel i cover gaming peripherals and pc hardware and so if you're interested in that consider subscribing and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos in this video yeah we're gonna talk nvidia gtx 1660 nvidia's first ever graphics card from the touring architecture that will not be fitted with ray tracing cores it seems like they messed up the naming again whoever or what do you guys think 1660 god damn it anyway in this video yeah we're gonna talk performance numbers release date price yeah we got a lot to talk about here guys are you planning on buying a new gaming graphics card soon well it seems like the upcoming gtx 1660 ti is going to perform about 20 percent better than the gtx 1060 and release date is expected to be february 14th same day as valentine believe it or not so kind of easy to remember kind of now in terms of performance the gtx 1660 ti card were spotted in a benchmark test in ashes of singularity scoring 7400 the benchmark was done on laptops however so yeah desktop gpus should perform better here but compared to the gtx 1060 it makes the card about 20 percent faster for 280 us dollars anyway here's what i'm thinking nvidia will be pricing the gtx 1660 at 230 us dollars a bit lower than the gtx 1060 and the 1660 ti will be priced at 280 us dollars msrp the 1660 without ti is simply just a replacement for the 1060 who is getting out of stock right now the gtx 1660 ti however will be nvidia's counter punch is that how you say for AMD's Radeon RX 590? That being said, AMD RX 590 is currently 270 US dollars on Amazon right now, as you can see. So asking 280 US dollars sounds more than reasonable. That being said, we haven't seen any real benchmark numbers yet, so it's still way too early to say if it's good value or not. But 280 US dollars is still a very, very interesting price point now i'm obviously going to review this card as soon as it rolls out and you should expect a video around release date so you definitely definitely want to subscribe but yeah i want to know what do you think about this card let me know in the comments so this is what we know so far to try and summarize this there will be at least two cards releasing very soon uh, from nvidia replacing the gtx 1060 card and both of these new cards will be based on the 12 nanometer tsmc touring architecture so this is the same type of architecture that is used in the much beefier RTX lineup of cards. But this time, we don't have the ray tracing cores. Still, we got tensor cores, however. And so that is very interesting. But there are no ray tracing cores here. And I feel like it needs to be said even one or two times. The 1660 Ti will be the top model and should be about 20% faster in terms of raw performance compared to the older GTX 1060, which puts it right between the GTX 1060 and the GTX 1070. Now let's talk a bit about the specifications. So according to the latest leak, what we know so far is that Nvidia will be releasing two cards on February 14th or February 15th. It is still a bit unclear here. Yeah, again, the first one is spelled 1660 and will feature 1280 CUDA cores. In other words, the same amount of cores that is in the GTX 1060. In terms of clock speeds, the upcoming 1660 will be clocked 
unlocked a bit higher than the older GTX 1060 Weber, more specifically 1530 on the core and 1785 megahertz GPU boost, which is about 100% faster than the old GTX 1060. The memory bus will be the same 192 bit and same type of 6 GB GDDDR5 memory, clocked at the same 8000 megahertz, which in terms of gigaflops makes them pretty much the same here. 4570 gigaflops for the 1660 and 4372 gigaflops for the older 1060. So, in other words, pretty much the same identical specs between these two cards. In other words, Nvidia's upcoming 1660 is pretty much a rebranded GTX 1060. In terms of performance, you'd be said the architecture is new, but judging from the leaked numbers here, they are neck and neck here. Now, what's more interesting, however, is the upcoming GTX 1660 Ti model. This one has more similarities to the RTX 2060 and will be much faster. Still not as fast as the RTX 2060, but still a lot faster. In terms of specs, we're looking at 1546 CUDA cores, a core clock of 1500 MHz and a core boost at 1770 MHz, which gives this card 5437 gigaflops of power and about thousand less than the RTX 2060 and about a thousand more than the 1660 and on top of that we're getting GDDR6 memory here this time so much much faster memory on this TI model so to try and wrap this up the GTX 1660 Ti is looking to be a very interesting graphics card and if you're looking for a new budget graphics card this could very much be the answer until AMD rolls out Navi which is expected to release at E3 in Los Angeles. Now, I'm going to review the 1660 as soon as it drops. Now, are you looking to upgrade your gaming system at any time soon? Let me know in the comments. That's it for me this time. I'm going to be back with a brand new video tomorrow, guys. Until then, have an awesome day, right?